Previously on the PC Game Inspector. Tonight, I should be looking at a hipper funnel, the Stud Farm Inheritance. I'm writing to confirm that your great aunt, Patricia Beaumont, designated you as her principal heiress. Look out! Don't spray the head! It's ridiculous. It most certainly is, young lady. We dropped a bunch of keys into the well when we were playing with Patricia. And why exactly would you do that? Jenkins! Yes, my lord? Take Pepper Funnel off my Christmas card list, would you? Hello, PC Game Inspector here. Now then, for the last couple of years, I have routinely been asked two questions. One, is your moustache real? And two, when do you intend to revisit Pippa Funnel, the Stud Farm Inheritance? Tonight, I shall answer one of those questions. My moustache is entirely genuine, I can assure you. Good night. Fine. Let us finish this equestrian atrocity. We have a lot of things to talk about. Yes, we're about to meet with the fellow whose number we crudely tore from the telephone directory. I'm going to be very plain speaking, Miss... May I call you by your first name? I prefer to be called Miss Beaumont, if you don't mind. We're here to talk business, aren't we? Oh, you've got character. Very good. No, she most certainly does not. My project requires a piece of land with sufficient water resources. I believe there's a huge lake at Grange Meadows. So? I would like to buy the stud farm and estate from you. I gladly accept your generous offer, dear boy. And just to speed the process along a little, I... It's out of the question for me to sell you anything whatsoever. Never mind. Take a glance at the property deed on the coffee table. It's a copy, of course. I'm the sole owner of the estate. Be careful. I'm an influential and determined man. Are you threatening me? Simply warning you. What an unpleasant fellow. I must get more information about this man and his so-called property deed. Perhaps the villagers can help me. I could show them his card, which I've kept in my inventory. I say, Jenkins. Bring me a piping hot fresh cup of tea, would you? Very well, my lord. I shall just have to whip it out of my inventory. You know, I'm not thirsty after all. How silly of me. Well, horse riding, ladies and gentlemen. Quite riveting. Now then, let's ask a few people about town for their take on this matter, shall we? He wants to buy up Grange Meadows. I think he's going to stir up trouble for me. Don't you let him get the better of you, my dear. You should go and see Jeremy. Yeah. I'd almost forgotten about that rotund buffoon. No. If I remember rightly, that plot belonged to your aunt. I'll find proof that this plot of land is mine. Hmm. <laughs> Shouldn't take too long. Provided that unbearable little girl didn't drop it down the well, which I'm not willing to rule out at this stage. Now then, off we go. And I'm out of stamina. Excellent. Hi, do you remember me? Last time we met, I nearly went into the village on horseback. My sheep have wandered off in all directions. Haven't you got a dog? He ate some chemgro, that ultra-chemical fertilizer muck. He's as sick as a dog. Well, normally, I'd laugh at that. If you want to go on chatting, you'll have to help me round up the sheep. No problem. What do I have to do? It's a cinch. Approach the sheep using the arrow keys to guide you. I say, Jenkins, bring me my moustache comb, would you? No problem, my lord. What do I have to do? Oh, it's a cinch. Approach the comb using the arrow keys to guide you. Uh, what? Precisely. Come along, sheepy. Into your pen. 
And you. My, this is fun, isn't it? Great. And there's only one left. Excellent. And here it is. If it would simply go the right way. Yep, not that way, you blundering beast. Yes, in you go. And I've got a photocopy of the property deed right here on me. Here. I'll give it to you for having helped me out. Well then, let's get that document to the grotesque solicitor, shall we? Miss Beaumont, Mr. Blacklock, we've come together to give a final ruling on the so-called Lake Woods plot of land. I have here a copy of the property deed for the land. But believe me, young lady, I haven't finished with you. See you soon. That sounds rather sinister. Registration is open for the next competition. Now then, before entering any further competitions, I should be forced to upgrade my horse. But as you can see, I don't have any skill points to allocate. To the training course, I say. I get the feeling this is going to take a while. And finally, I have amassed enough points to prepare my horse for the competition. And here we go. I'm getting the hang of this. Simply a matter of changing the speed of the horse based on the game's instructions. For example, here I'm being asked to change to collected canter, and so I... What? Gallop? That's not what it told me to do. I fear this game is attempting to sabotage me at every turn. The harmony between rider and mount was simply perfect. Now, let's see how they fare on the cross-country course. Second place. Not bad. I find myself becoming worryingly good at this game. Well played! That was an outstanding performance on very difficult terrain. Let's move on to the show jumping event now. Second place again. Jackie appears to be the one to beat. Oopsie. I made a pig's ear of that one, didn't I? What? Eliminated? I was in second place. Surely I can't have fallen that far down the rankings. Something weird's going on here. The horses are running around free all over the place. You should go to the stables. Oh, hey, wonderful. Just what I needed. And what on earth is this scoundrel doing? I saw someone racing off on a quad bike. You have to catch him, quick! Saddle the horse! There's no time to lose. I have to find him before the time on the counter at the top left runs out. This is not how humans speak. Well then, let's see which horses haven't escaped. Yeah, oh, lovely. The slowest and most feeble is the only one remaining. Get a move on! He took the path to the left! Well, I suppose I'd better give chase. There he is. And he speeds up the instant I get close. Lovely. Perhaps if I sit in front of him. You got away this time, but just you wait till I get my hands on you. I won't let you slip away again. Well, it seems my stamina has been drained. Where did that blighter go? Somewhere I can't follow, it seems. Oh no! If I understand correctly, Miss Beaumont, your horses have given you the slip. But it wasn't my fault. Well, 
Let's try that mission again, shall we? Perhaps if I go slowly to conserve my stamina, he'll stay at a consistent distance from me until I'm ready to pounce. Yep. All right, let's try this shortcut. I've got you now, if my stamina can hold on for just a little longer. I've got him! Who are you? Now then, let us find out which villainous swine has been fleeing from me for the past three hours. Davy! I should have guessed. If you don't tell me where my horses are, I swear I'll call the police. Okay, that's enough. Look on the banks of the River Otter. I knew there was something off about that fellow from the very moment I discovered he was peeping into the young lady's bedroom. I heard something. Go and look over there. Who the devil are you talking to? Me? Yourself? There's one. Now then, I believe it's time to confront that miserable specimen of a stable laird. Now, Davy, let's talk. Rose has disappeared. She left a note. She's gone out looking for the horses. Oh, no! We must find her. It's all my fault. Take a horse. I'll look too. We'll meet up here. We'll find her, don't worry. If we must, I suppose. There are lots of scary noises! Please, help me! Here she is. Thank goodness you're here. I was scared stiff of spending the night all alone in this forest. Were I presented with the option, you would be spending the night alone in the forest. I'm waiting for an explanation. I imagine you didn't do all that purely because you can't stand the sight of me. It's not that. It's Blacklock. He asked me to make life impossible for you. Paid off by a crook, eh? Seems his true colours are finally shining through, doesn't it? From now on, you can rely on me. I never really liked that guy anyway. Oh, and such loyalty! I'd be a fool not to trust him, wouldn't I? Well, another day, another competition. With cardboard cutouts for observers, who aren't even remotely looking in the right direction. That is one of these... Jenkins, who is this? Looks like an old lady, my lord. I can see that. What is she doing here? Oh, I haven't the faintest idea, my lord. Well, get her out of here, would you? She's... creepy. Davy, I need to know more about Blacklock's project. Will you help me? Of course. We should have a rummage in his office. That's where he keeps all his important papers. But how can we get into his house? Leave things to me. I'll keep him occupied a while. Breaking into somebody's home? What a sterling example for the children. Davy, I managed to cut through the wire fencing. Now I can get into the property. It's over to you now. And she sounds so merry and carefree about the whole situation. Quite disgraceful. Here's the living room. Okay, have to stay quiet. Oh yes, tell yourself out loud how quiet you must be. Stealth in a nutshell. A secret room! Looks like that chap was up to no good after all. What about these files? Kengro? Hey! But that's the chemical fertilizer that poisoned Peter Ellis's dog. Well, I suppose I'd better let the villagers know about this. You were right, Mr. Burgess. It was a chemical factory that Blacklock wanted to build. Well played. By tabling a censure motion against his project, the inhabitants of Appleton will be able to evict him. Have I won the game yet? You little rat! You told the villagers a pack of lies about me and now they no longer want my project. But you'll pay heavily for this, believe me. Hmm. I suppose I'd better sleep with one eye open from now on, hadn't I? 
Harry, I need a competition saddle. Is there one that you particularly like, Davy? It isn't for me, it's for Miss Beaumont. To say sorry for something I did. Hmm. And you've got things to tell her, too, hmm? I may be an old fool, but I've got eyes and ears. I don't know. What could a Beaumont ever see in a Turner? Nothing whatsoever. Especially a Turner who plotted against the young lady from the very beginning. Wow, wee! Who's that saddle for? It's drop dead gorgeous. As a matter of fact, I, um. wanted to give it to you. I'll bet you did, dear boy, but we'll have nothing of the sort if you don't mind. Hi there, it's Pippa. I hear you're getting by with flying colours at Grange Meadows. And where exactly did you hear that? I have been routinely defeated in competition. My stable lad let all the horses loose in an attempt to bring me down. And we lost a little girl in the woods. Hardly what I call flying colours. Oh, by the way, guess what? I've registered for your big competition. Oh, lovely. I suppose this is the game's final challenge. Well, as the kids might say, I believe it is time to kick butt. Funnel. Welcome to the big event, a very high-level competition being held in the village of Appleton. We'll see major horse riding champions confronting each other, especially Pippa Funnel, who has come here to show her support for Miss Beaumont's competition. There we go. A sterling performance, if I do say so myself. A very handsome demonstration of dressage and a well-deserved victory. But now let's follow the cross-country course. Seems Pippa's in the lead. Not for long, I say. A dazzling victory! But it'll have to be repeated on the show jumping course. Let's see what you think of that, Mrs. Funnel. I beat your time by a staggering 23 seconds. Let's see if that was enough to defeat her. Well, I think that the die is cast. Let's go over now to the general competition results, which will reward our greatest winner. Yep. Bravo! You're an honor to your family. Seems a little extreme for second place. But I'm not complaining. You deserve to be congratulated. It's rare for me to meet such a determined person. Please accept my apologies for my behavior. I often forget my good manners when I'm doing business. Thank you, Mr. Blacklock. It's always best to play fair. This isn't exactly what I'd call making me pay heavily. I'll try to bear that in mind. Good luck for all of your plans. Well, he's not such a bad sort after all. What? Yes, he is. Have you no memory, girl? You were great in the competition. Thanks, but I couldn't have done it without your help. No, I suppose she doesn't. That boy was clearly more of a hindrance. Rose likes it here, and what's more, she adores you. And she's not the only one. What? Haven't you wondered why I've been behaving like an idiot ever since you arrived? Well, to begin with, I just thought you were an idiot. <laughs> yes, and then you found out he was a villainous saboteur on the payroll of an evil tycoon? Everything would be so much better if you stayed here with me. Why? You're the best thing that's happened to me in a long, long time. And you for me. No, he's not! What are you talking about? I say, Jenkins, dispose of this game, would you, so that I never have to lay eyes on it again? And why is that old woman still here? I thought I told you to escort her from the premises. Jenkins? What the... Jenkins?